Welcome folks, before we jump into this, it takes all type of people to make this world go round and round. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please do and ring the bell. During all these hard times, it's actually hard to believe that there's people out here doing things, which I'm about to read. Man pleads guilty to counterfeit COVID-19 stimulus check scheme. In Alexander, Vermont, a man pled guilty today to bank fraud and aggravated identity theft in connection with the scheme to create counterfeit economic impact payments, also known as COVID-19 stimulus checks, and for attempting to conduct a series of fraudulent financial transactions. The defendant illegally obtained the personal identifiers and financial information of more than 150 individuals in EDBA by stealing their mail, which he then used to conduct fraudulent transactions and create counterfeit COVID-19 stimulus checks. We are firmly committed to holding accountable fraudsters who engage in identity theft and exploit a natural economy crisis for personal gain at the expense of hardworking members of our communities. This, this man might have stole people's stimulus checks that they've been waiting for, wondering where they went. What would somebody think to do things during these hard times is beyond me. But like it says, it takes all types to make this world go round and round. According to court documents, 38-year-old stole U.S. mail address to more than 150 individuals in Fairfax County between approximately December 2019 and August 2020. The mail Drew stole included bank statements, credit cards, credit card statements, W-2 forms, and more than $700,000 in checks, including a COVID-19 stimulus payment and checks Drew used to create counterfeit checks. Drew is scheduled to be sentenced on August 25th. He faces a maximum penalty of 32 years in prison, including a mandatory minimum of two years. Actually, a sentence for federal crimes are typically less than the maximum penalties. A federal district court will judge will determine any sentence after taking into account the U.S. sentencing guidelines and other statutory factors. He should make him wait and check his mail and answer the phone every day for his stimulus check for 32 years. Take care, folks, and be safe.